Hello everybody, welcome back to Steph's Movies and Music. I am, of course, the one and only Steph. Yay! So today we gather so that I could show off all the records I got over the past couple months. First things first, let's start with the month of August. Alright, now let's move on to the month of September. So these were probably towards the beginning of September. I got these all at half price books. I don't think any of them really have their prices on them still. I think I took them all off. This is Crocus or Crocus, The Blitz. It's one of their hit albums. This is Sammy Hagar, VOA. This of course has I Can't Drive 55 on it. We got The Outfields. And uh, The Outfields, in my opinion, is a very underrated 80s band. This was, I believe, like a triple platinum selling album. You got Say It Isn't So, Your Love, I believe um, Your Love, Say It Isn't So, and All the Love. I believe those three are top 40 hits. I want to say top 30, all of them. Your Love was number six on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1985, 86, something like that. Now we got Aria Speedwagon, Good Trouble. This, I believe, is a double platinum selling album. Maybe triple. I forget. Keep the Fire Burning is another... Um, one of those classic REO Speedwagon tunes. Next one is one I was not expecting to find at all. This is Buffalo Springfield, for what it's worth. Which is obviously very famous for its uh, title track, for what it's worth. This came out back in 1966, which means this thing is almost 60 years old. It's 56. Wait, yeah, 56. I didn't even know that Steven Stills was in this band. I didn't I didn't know that. You learned something new. Alright, Crosby Stills, Nash and Young. This was their one of their Smash albums. This was definitely their best selling one. This is over fifty years old. And it still has a RIAA award sticker on it. Gold record award means that they've sold five hundred thousand copies of this album. Well, fast forward 50 years, they've sold over 7 million, at least here in the United States. Which goes to show you how great of a freaking album this is. This is, uh, I, I don't even know if I said the name of it. It's Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu. Wait, didn't I just say that? They have a few Elton John albums next. This is, this first one is one that I've never seen out in the wild, and I'm out in the wild meaning out and about at like, you know, not online, not on eBay, not on anything else, you know. This is an Elton John soundtrack. Well, actually, it's an original soundtrack recording of the movie Friends, which I can't remember if Elton John just only did the soundtrack or if he was actually an actor in it. Sorry about that. My uh, stepmom's streaming, and she tends to scream hello sometimes when she does that anyway uh elton john jump up that's the next one this i believe was a gold selling album i believe friends was probably platinum i think or gold one or the other this came out in 1980 82 i was close elton john 21 at 33 that of course is it's not symbolism or anything, but it's it's kind of a reference to. This is his 21st album overall, and he was 33 at the time. Now, this isn't his 21st studio album, per se. This is his 21st album that he's put out, including... I, I don't know if it's including the soundtrack or not. I know it's including compilation albums and live albums and, of course, studio albums. But this came out in 1980. All right, so this next one was at a thrift store here in St. Louis. I picked this up just recently, right before um, October began. This is called Annie Lennox Diva. So this is a little different than your typical album. This is a digital sound laser disc. I'm trying to figure out more about this. It came out in 1992. 
Apparently, I think this might have something to do with video. So this might be like a video album. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. These next eight or so albums, I don't actually know the number, uh, are all pickups from also another thrift store that I don't even know the name of. But it was in Destin, Florida, because I uh, went there from September 23rd to October 1st. We drove up there, though. We didn't um, fly. Because getting there is half the fun. You know that. But um, this is Boston, um, their self-titled debut. This is a demonstration copy. You can see that down there. Not all copies have this on it, but demonstration copies do. I looked it up. This is worth about 50 bucks. This is also in a lot better condition than the regular at-home use copy of this album that I have. So, yeah, that's great. Steve Miller band Fly Like an Eagle. It's like a triple or quadruple platinum selling album. The Steve Miller band's Book of Dreams. I love this artwork. Can I not like unicorns? Uh, David Bowie. This was surprising to find. I think I'm just going to take off the rest of this shrink wrap because it was already like almost off. Yeah, this is Let's Dance from David Bowie, I believe. On that, you got Utter Love, China Girl, Let's Dance, and Cat People. Uh, Young Americans, David Bowie. This is a gold selling album. Sister Sledge, Love Somebody Today. So this was the album. This was one or two albums after they had their their big hit, which was We Are Family. Uh, but hey, what the heck. The Best of Rod Stewart Volume This is the Best of Rod Stewart Volume 2. Uh, this has not been certified anything. A, oh, it also says demonstration not for sale, which is really weird. I didn't know that. This is Tears for Fears, The Hurting. This is their, I believe, their debut album. Came out in 1983. We got Alan Parsons Project Pyramid. 1978. This is the last of the vinyl records. This is Poco Legend. So this was their first hit album. I believe it's still like their seventh, sixth or seventh album. They have two hit albums. This one and then another one called Legacy. That one was released in 89. This was released in 78 on MCA Records. Pretty cool, gold selling album. Now we have a little stack of CDs here. Some of which I, I, I do believe I got in Florida. I'll try to remember which ones. Here we got a single, Elton John, Someday Out of the Blue which is the theme from El Dorado. And this one is Tracy Chapman, New Beginning. I believe I believe this was $1.50 or $1.25 or something like that. Same with the, all CDs there at that thrift store was were $1.25. So this is Tracy Chapman, New Beginning. This is one of her big albums. I believe this went five times platinum, which is almost big, almost as big as her first album which of course was Fast Car, which broke everybody's heart. This is Cher, Living Proof. A Lifehouse, Who We Are. I'm Stained, Break the Cycle. And this one was a gift from my grandma, Mannheim Steamroller, Christmas in the Air. I don't even know if I already had that one or not, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check down below for any links in the description. Also remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Other albums I should get, although I have a very lengthy five mile freaking long list of albums to get already. If by all means though, comment down below and I'll check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Steph signing off.